Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. For those of you who are new here, welcome into the space. I focus on Pisces readings specifically. There's a little bit of something else sprinkled all over my channel, um, but mainly <laughs> I work with the Pisces Collective. Now, if you're coming back, welcome back. Today, let's do a general timeless reading. The reading is timeless. Whenever it finds you is the right time for you to watch this video. So even if it was published ages ago, if you're here, you're probably meant to be here for a reason. There's probably something here, I believe, that you need to hear. The ads, though, are not... Um, Timeless. <laughs> so this upcoming Friday, we have Black Friday. If you want to hear about the offers, all you need to do is go to the description box, go to my website, leave your email, and you're going to hear all about the ridiculously insane offers that are going to be showing up for Black Friday. The product of the week for this week because of Black Friday has a big discount as well. So don't miss out on the chance to get the Freedom Journaling course at only $37 as opposed to $77. This is a course that includes four lessons, one workbook of prompts and questions and techniques and you name it to use journaling for manifesting, for healing, for introspection, for therapy, for learning. It's like you name it you're going to learn how to use a journal for magic, basically, in every possible way. <laughs> so check it out and see if you like it and if it resonates with you, because the discount is quite large. Next week, it's going to be $77 again. So check it out. All right. Universe, angels, beings of love and light. Please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. What is it that Pisces needs to hear right now? What is it that Pisces needs to know right now? All right, Pisces. So you have the chariot in the reverse. You may feel like in certain areas of your life, you're stuck. You may be dealing with this challenge of being like, okay, I know that I need to have more discipline. I know that I need to show up for myself, that I need to show up for my life, that I need to do what I need to do, that I have to you know, leave out procrastination, that I have to polish my priorities, whatever. It's like you have this desire for self-discipline, but you do feel the resistance and you do feel opposition. Some of you may feel like giving up or you may have felt recently like giving up because maybe you're thinking, am I in the wrong path? Why aren't things moving? Why do things feel stuck, right? Some of you may have felt powerless. You may feel like there's this big obstacle that you can't quite grasp. But for those of you who are making the most out of this energy and this situation, you're using it to work on yourselves. You're using it to work on your self-discipline. You are keeping yourself, like holding yourself accountable. And you're dealing with a lot of emotional stuff, Pisces. You know, maybe part of the reason why things are not moving forward it could be because you need to pay some attention to the emotional aspect of things. You know, sometimes we feel stagnancy or we get stuck in other areas. Basically to have the chance, the time, the energy, um, the availability to simply think about what needs to be healed, right? And in this case, I feel like some of you are experiencing peace after a period of trouble, but you're still needing to heal from that period of trouble. They're telling you here to make amends, to think about reconciliation, past resentments, think about healing or clearing regret, remorse. 
and basically cutting yourself loose from those regrets and giving yourself freedom again. So there needs to be some healing that's very important here, Pisces, before you can move forward. Four of Swords. Yeah, some of you are tired. You need to rest. You need to relax. You need to time to get some time with you know meditation, renewal. Some of you could really benefit from solitude, but you're not getting enough solitude. Okay, maybe you have a busy home. Maybe you have people around you all day, day in day out. And spirit is telling you here find moments to be alone. Whether it is go on a walk, whether it is go and meditate, whatever, whatever. <laughs> That makes sense to you it is important for you to have some solitude okay you need to have that retreat you need to find that peace within yourself and sometimes been you know busy and surrounded by all the things that we are surrounded by you know it keeps us from feeling that or remembering that being on our own being in our solitude is very sacred and feels good Sometimes we're so used to just being on the go. Not only are you healing or in need of healing, but you're also resting. That's why things are slow, Pisces. It could be beneficial that these things are going slow. Maybe life is going to pick up. Maybe things are going to start moving very fast and you're going to start working a lot and getting opportunities and traveling and having so much fun and doing this, that, the other. And you may not, in that moment, find the downtime to heal these things. So it seems like this slowing down is there for a reason. We have the Queen of Cups. You are, Pisces, the Queen of Cups. Compassionate, warm, caring, intuitive. You're a healer. You're very supportive. You have empathy. And when you're in the flow, just like water, anything and everything is possible for you. In order to be in that Queen of Cups energy, empowered Queen of Cups energy, there needs to be some healing. So that's basically the message here. <laughs> so far, it's like there are some things you need to heal. There are some resentments from the past you need to heal. Possibly around a water sign as well. A fellow Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces. I said fellow Cancer, but you're a Pisces, that's odd. Oh, sorry, I said that was going to be taking reversal since then. Okay, so some of you may have had some kind of confusion, miscommunication, poor judgment, hostility, arguments with someone, okay? Could be right now, but I'm feeling like it was more in the past. This may have created a lot of stress. <sighs> Something could have been healed, but it wasn't. Something, there was an argument, there was a conflict that could have been solved. A relationship that could have been healed, rescued. But it wasn't. Now, that doesn't mean that now you have to go in and rescue that. It may be long gone. And that's fine. But they're telling you to, like, don't just sweep it under the rug because it's important. This could be someone who meant a lot for you, who still means a lot to you. And there could have been some kind of argument or conflict or difficulty. And you maybe lost, you know, touch with this person. And Spirit is trying to, like, make you see how it could have been different. If maybe they would have acted differently, you would have acted differently. Room for healing. That's what I heard. I got the sun in the reverse. Feeling down. Um, I feel like this person is... Very confused. And very resentful. But they know that what happened, whatever may have happened, 
was just a symptom of a deeper cause within themselves. They are aware of that. They are healing. They are doing the work, Pisces. So if this is someone who believes in healing, someone who's like a light worker or a practitioner of some sort, this person is putting in the work to see things differently, to forgive you, to, you know, release the emotional charge that that event could have had. So naturally, it would be great for you to do the same. You don't have to have contact with this person. That person is over there and you're over here. This person is wanting to have a new outlook. They have retreated. They have better clarity. They're more aware. They want to kind of like snap out of it. And they want to choose happiness and acceptance. And you should too, Pisces, basically. Choose happiness. Choose acceptance. Snap out of that bubble in time. Some of you are kind of trapped in of resentment and anger and betrayal, lack of trust. It's like some of you are like almost replaying um, a traumatic event or a conflict. And it's time to let it go, Pisces. It's time to let it go. This could have been a really good friend. And maybe because this happened, you haven't allowed yourself to have more friends. Maybe this, if this was someone you worked with, someone you worked for, Maybe this happened and now you don't want to work with anyone. I don't know. But they're, they're telling you to snap out of it. Yeah, persevere. You're focusing on that self-discipline. And basically, Spirit is telling you that it's easier to be self-disciplined. It's easier to carry on with your responsibilities and everything that is important to you when you're not carrying such a heavy emotional burden, Pisces. So if you have a counselor, a coach, a healer, a therapist, if you have tools and hacks and meditations and things that you use to basically heal yourself after things like this, now is the time to use them, okay? They're telling you here the final push. Okay, um, you're very close to success. You may feel tired, but you need to persevere here, Pisces. Letting go of this emotional burden is going to make it easier. Now, if you are extremely um, attached to this trauma and you don't want to heal it or release it for whatever reason, you will still be able to get to the top of the mountain, but just... Consider that that last little bit, which is the hardest because you're tired, is way harder if you're carrying a bunch of weight. You can do it, but it's unnecessary. Pisces need to know. You are the Empress. And I feel like in a way, in a way it's like heal, snap out of it, you know, like release that time of your life. Allow yourself to blossom again because there is so much of you that the world appreciates. Creation of life, abundance, maternal energy, fertility, divine feminine energy, pregnancy, beauty, sensuality, care, nurturing, and Mother Earth. Now, some of you have been trying to get pregnant, and maybe you've had um, maybe you've had losses, pregnancies that don't don't come full. Um, term it may be because 
partially, obviously, because um, there's a lot involved. But in part, there could be some very heavy negative emotions that need to be worked through so that it doesn't just pass on to your baby. Interesting. It's like because of this conflict, fight, or argument, falling out, whatever, again, it seems like you are keeping yourself from enjoying something. As I said earlier, like if you have this problem with a friend, now you don't want to have friends. Or if this was a coworker, now you don't want to have a coworker. I don't know, something like that. And it seems here like Spirit is telling you don't take all of those opportunities out of your own life because of what happened. It won't repeat itself, it doesn't have to. Not everyone is like that. That is not gonna happen twice, not exactly the same. And Spirit just wants you to know that it's safe to, to awaken to that. It's safe to destroy the old foundations, keeping you tied to that trauma, that anchor, that chaos. Some things, Pisces, I feel like we can't quite snap out of. And a lot of mental health things, it's like, oh, just snap out of it. It's like, that doesn't work that way. <laughs> but in this case, Pisces, it does seem like there is some kind of choice that you have, some kind of power that you have in this situation. You may not feel powerful in this situation, but Spirit is saying you do have power and you can snap out of it if you choose to. Because you're working hard, you are prioritizing self-discipline, you're putting in the work, and you're tired. And some of you may be like, you know what, you're right. I'm just gonna forgive everybody and just move on, <laughs> you know? Because you are tired and because you want things to be easier and because you're done. Some of you have that liberty, that power, so use it if you feel like you do. Maybe you don't feel like you have that possibility, but hey, how can you know if you don't try, right? All right, Pisces, so this is a reading basically inviting you to claim freedom and to claim... It's like, why are you going to give up on having friends because that person was a shitty friend? You know what I mean? Like, don't take that away from you. Like, you already went through the disappointment. Now you're going to be out of wanting to protect yourself, preventing all of the joys from friendship. No. It's like, give yourself the chance to live everything ideally. It may not have happened ideally, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen in the future, okay? So, there you go, Pisces. <laughs> please go ahead and check out the Freedom Journaling course. It is such a wonderful tool to have. The discount is very, very significant. At this time, you can get it at $37. You can download it today. You can use it indefinitely into the future time and time again. So please go ahead and check it out because next week it's already $77. Also, if you want to get the massive, and I mean massive, Black Friday discount, please just hop on the website and leave your email and you're going to hear all about those offers. I'm not going to be sharing much about them here on YouTube, but everything that you need to know, you're, get, you're going to get all the coupons and all the things um, through email. All right. I love you so much, Pisces. I hope you're doing good and I hope that this reading truly helps you. I hope that it gives you some food for thought. I don't know. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, please like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye Pisces.